major reinforcing all around like the lapel on the shoulder all the way around the back in this video i'm going to be talking all about the fighting films black label judo gi i'm going to talk about why it's so good why people love it why fighting films has it as their probably most durable high intensity gi that they have i'm going to explain some of the features that it's got and at the end i'll put together a short montage of people training in judo Hi, my name's Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you're liking this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the fighting films Black Label Judo Gi. For the video, I've roped in my buddy Eric to do a bit of modeling so you can see exactly how the gi looks when on someone. He doesn't say much, so I'm going to do all the talking for the video. This gi has been designed as a judo specific gi. There's not really any other styles that would use this. You might get some of the Japanese Jiu Jitsu guys wanting to use this gi because it is so durable and it will last so long. However, the majority of people buying this are going to be judo practitioners. Now, what's so good about this gi? What, why, why is it priced at the price it is? What, what, what's so good about it? Because on the surface, maybe from, from the video here, it just looks like a normal gi. Let me explain some of the features that make it so good. Fighting Films do also produce an IJF approved gi. Now you'd assume that this would be the top level gi. And it is a very, very good quality gi. Used for all the competitions, all the way through the European, the World Championships and even Olympics. So you will see people in the Olympics using the IJF. However, those gis are not as durable as these. They're made so they are lighter for competition. So they would only be used in competition. This is the gi that all of the Olympians, all of the world class, the European, the British level, judoka will be wearing in club training. So this is designed as a club gi to be used day in, day out, pulled about, yanked about every single day. That's what this is designed for. So a mega, mega tough, durable, durable gi. As you'd expect from all judo gis, it has major reinforcing all around like the lapel area, like on the chest area. This also though has extra, almost because it's such thick material, extra padding and reinforcements on the shoulder that you don't usually get on judo gis. It also has this extra reinforcement all the way around the back shoulder for all the kind of grabbing that you'll get over around the back of the neck. So yeah, extra material sewn in, really, really thick material. Now you'd assume this would be uncomfortable. On most heavy judo gis, this would be really uncomfortable. But what fighting films have done, is they've made the inside of the, of the gi like brushed cotton. So it's the same as really good quality karate gis when they brush up the cotton, and it makes it really, really soft and comfortable. Now this is an amazing feature for a judo gi so heavy because like I said most of them are quite rough. So this makes it really comfortable. Again if you're training in the gi every day you want it to be comfortable. Other areas of reinforcement, they have reinforced the armpits underneath. So an area that can rip a lot of pulling on the arms and as you can see it's got an extra bit of material stitched in and I'll show you the inside stitched into the armpit. So a lot of judo gis don't have that feature, really, really nice. Now on all the seams where there is like effectively stress points, so on the split there's extra material, on the crease there's extra stitching, on the lapel, really, really, really thick lapel, but they've stitched in this extra bit of material down the edge of it so it doesn't rub. So you're much less likely to get like gi burns, like gi rashes from this because it's so soft. I mean, you're still gonna get them. Like, if you're buying a gi like this, you're gonna be training a fair amount. So you're still gonna get them, but a lot less likely with a gi like this. More reinforcements on the sleeves, more reinforcements on the bottom, triple rows of stitching on the bottom and on the sleeves. Really, really nice, nice features to know that this gi is gonna last a really long time. Now, it is quite heavy, so you are gonna be hot in this. Now, this is like the, the the arguable downside of judo is that you wear relatively heavy gis but if you're going to wear a heavy gi you might as well be comfortable in it so at least you do get that now fighting films have sewed in their logos into the sleeves now these can vary so you get that logo you can also get this logo on the side 
with the foot on the side. But yeah, you do get slightly different logos depending on what's coming out at what time. So just having a quick look at the trousers, as you expect, they've got the reinforced knees in. Now what they've done on this ski is they've reinforced it, not only the knee, but also the shin all the way down to the bottom of the trouser. So it, obviously you want reinforced knees, that kind of comes a standard old judo geese, but it's not standard to have that reinforced amount of material all the way down to the bottom of the gi. Really nice feature. Something that's come out on a lot of BJJ geese recently, so it's really nice to see that extra feature on this quality judo gi. Just some other little features. Again, you get standard ties that you do for most good quality judo geese. Really good to have those traditional ties to make sure your trousers stay on. One thing that's become a lot rarer on judo geese, and actually fighting films geese do stick with it, which is why they're priced a little higher than most, is that they're 100% cotton. So having the 100% cotton, means you've got a really natural gi, really comfortable, like really nice natural fibers on your body. Now you will, the one downside of cotton is you do get a bit of shrinkage. So it's, people always tend to play with their gis a little bit. So don't hot wash it. If you hot wash it, it will shrink, never tumble dry it. You wanna keep it on a really cold wash, 30 degrees or even cold wash if you can. Some people don't like doing this because if they sweat a lot, they think that it won't wash properly. This isn't true, 30 degrees washes it absolutely fine. And you can get certain detergents that are gonna do, do a better wash. Some of them, maybe if, you, if your skin can cope with the biological washes, then maybe get biological detergent. Now in terms of keeping it white, some of the people that sweat a lot tend to get like yellow geese after a time. So a few tips for that is A, get a white protector detergent. White protectors keep them really nice crispy white really good the other top tip is drying it in sunlight now sunlight will ble help bleach it so it will keep it white but also it will kill all the bacteria that's in it so if you can dry it out in direct sunlight it will keep your ghee from a getting bacteria build up in it and keep it smelling really really fresh so yeah a few top tips for looking after your ghee so just a few tips on sizing if you're not sure about sizing now if you're buying a ghee like this you should already know what judo ghee size you're getting this ghee is designed for like someone who's training a lot going to really be black belts or above buying this gi. Now if you've got the money to spend and you're going up through the grades and you want a gi like this and you're still not sure of sizing, the 170 in the size, so you get say a 4170 or a 5180, the 180 refers to your height, so 180 centimetres. Now unless if you're fairly round around the middle, this will be perfect for you. If you are a little bit bigger, you probably want to go up a size and you'll have to roll up the arms and roll up the legs. But yeah, 170 refers to 170 centimetres in height. That's the size that you want. Now just another tip on washing. Because this is so thick and you want to air dry it, not tumble dry it, you're probably not going to be able to wash your gi after every session if you're training day after day after day. So either you'll need training gaps, so gaps so you wash it as soon as you get home and then you've got a whole day to dry it, or you're going to have to buy two or three of these. That's what most of the elite judo practitioners will do. They will have like several geese on rotation, so there's always geese in the house drying. If you go around any judoka's house or even the BJJ guys' houses, there is always geese drying everywhere. Now, that's that's just one of the things that comes with having a gi like this because it is so thick you do need a bit of time to dry it out so nice and airy plenty of sunlight and and these things should dry in a couple of days and then you can get training again but like i said you're not going to dry it straight away so it's worth having two or even three gis if you're training that regularly so at enzo martial arts we have quite a wide range of judo gis so as well as the fighting films black label judo gi we also have the fighting films ijf approved judo gi so this is approved for all British, European, World Championships and the Olympics. Really, really high quality gi. Like I said, it is lighter than the black label because it is designed for competition and not day-to-day -day club level training. We also do the Fighting Films Red Label Gi. So this is an entry level gi for the people working through the grades. Really good quality entry level gi. Much better quality than a lot of the standard judo gis you see on the market. We also do a lightweight judo gi. Now, this isn't really for judo practitioners. This is more for someone just trying it out, just getting started and doesn't want to spend a lot of money. However, if you're doing something where you just need to bash around a gi, you don't want to spend a lot, this is the lightweight judo gi. It's also perfect for Aikido and Japanese Jiu-Jitsu. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here is a short montage of people training in the fighting film's black judo gi.
Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the fighting films Black Label Judo Gi. If you like this video, click the little icon in the bottom right hand corner, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.